We've got an exclusive interview with a Florida man who was shot at nearly two dozen times by law enforcement, not because he was firing at them or running from them, but in fact, while he was detained in the back of a patrol car. Just fired! Just fired! Just fired! A lot of drama there for what a sheriff's deputy says may have been an acorn hitting a car and was mistaken as gunfire. Marquis Jackson and his attorney spoke with Jamie Yukis about their lawsuit against the sheriff's office and the changes they're looking for. This is the moment Okaloosa County Sheriff's Deputy Jesse Hernandez opened fire on his own patrol vehicle believing he hadn't just been shot at, but hit. Oh, I'm hit. I'm hit. Police say Hernandez and his partner fired at least 22 rounds at the car. Shots fired, I got a deputy down. 24-year-old Marquis Jackson was handcuffed and sitting in the back. Do you hear the acorn hit the roof? No, I don't hear no acorn at all. Did you hear Officer Hernandez shout, I've been hit? I didn't hear none of that. You, so you didn't know anything that was going on outside? I ain't do nothing at all, so I'm like, why am I even here right now? So the next thing you know, all I hear is the gunshots. The first one I like hear, like, come through the glass. The second one was like, across my face, I can like, feel the wind, so that's when I ducked. What did you think was happening? They were trying to kill me. When somebody's shooting at you, that's all they could be trying to do is kill you. The incident played out as Deputy Jesse Hernandez and Sergeant Beth Roberts responded to a domestic dispute involving Jackson's girlfriend last November. Police said she claimed he stole her car, threatened her, and had a gun silencer. When Jackson arrived, he says he cooperated with officers. And I tell him, like, I don't got no side, whatever she wants to do, like, let's do it, because basically I knew, like, I didn't steal her car. I didn't do nothing wrong. They searched me, searched me a couple times, then took me to the car. And right before they put me in the car, they searched me again. Do you have any weapons on you? No. Okay. Well, I'm getting patted down because you're getting patted down. In a statement, the sheriff cut says up. Jackson was only patted down once. Cut up, cut up. Jackson claims it was at least twice. What do? He wasn't hurt and was never charged with a crime. An internal investigation found Hernandez's actions violated policy. He resigned, but Roberts was cleared. Neither faced criminal action. What are the images you see that you can't get out of your head? There's a whole lot of guns and glass falling, basically cop cars and sirens. I'm hearing noises all the time, stuff like that. Do you think you have PTSD? Most definitely. As an advocate, we want to make sure that we get him uh, the best help that he can. As a black man, I'm enraged. DeWitt Lacey represents Jackson and filed a lawsuit against the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office. Why are you enraged? The fear of this violent or angry black man being loose is what's been used to justify and rationalize the fear. And that is upsetting. That is angry. What do you hope the outcome is to all of this? Uh, accountability. Uh, we want them, and that is the law enforcement community, the sheriff's department, the county, to take this a little more seriously. To not pass this off as something that could be swept under the rug. This could have gone very differently. He could be dead, right? That is a, a likely outcome when you shoot that many bullets into a patrol vehicle and somebody's in there. For CBS Mornings, Jamie Yukis in Los Angeles. Well, he is right. It could be very different. In a statement to CBS News, the Okaloosa County Sheriff say uh, deputies do not engage in the practice of bias-based profiling and are confident race was not a factor in this incident. The sheriff also said Lacey's claims about being swept under the rug are absurd. Deputy Hernandez, the officer who fired the initial shots and rolled around there, said he was hit, declined to comment for this story. Again, he's resigned. It's a good call. I don't think any resigned. cops watching this think uh, that that guy was mentally fit on that particular day in that moment to be yeah. an officer. And it's hard to know, too, without knowing a little bit more about that officer in terms of his, his background. But uh, I can only imagine what you must be thinking when you're in a car. And you're handcuffed. And you hear gunshots. You bring it out. He said it whizzed by him. He could feel it. Yeah. He's very lucky to be alive.